Hey guys, I'm Daniel Hunt. I'm Allison Wolf. And we're the Hunt team with Briggs Freeman, Sotheby's and National Realty. Today we're touring 2000 Willowbend Drive in Plano, Texas. This property is just under 15,000 square feet, six bedrooms, eight full baths, three half baths, a nine car garage. It sits on 2.7 acres of land and is offered at $5 million. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. First, I want to point out the beautiful limestone archway greeting you to the home. Also want to pinpoint this 12 foot custom wrought iron door, entry door. Come on in. One of my favorite features about this home is the gorgeous crystal chandelier. It's on Venetian plaster cupola. The detail in that is just amazing. Amazing, yes, it is. The crown molding around, I just, I've never seen detail like this before. With the matching crown molding, yeah, it, it matches perfectly. Travertine flooring. This is one of my favorite parts of the home. White oak, wood floors. They're beautiful. Beautiful floors, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And check out the detail in this fireplace. I mean, fireplace with the view. You can definitely do some serious entertaining in here. Definitely. Yeah. And now off to the right of the entryway. The formal dining room. We have a formal dining room, yeah. I love the Corinthian columns. The detail is just beautiful in this home. Yeah. And well, I know you're, the, you're, you're a sucker for those chandeliers. I, chandelier. I've never met a chandelier I didn't <laughs> like. I love them. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And just the detail on the ceiling too. Very elegant. It is very elegant. I'm loving the, the columns, loving them. We need some columns. Columns are good, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's check out the kitchen. Now this, is a this is a gourmet kitchen. chef's kitchen. You have four refrigerators. Four refrigerators, six gas burner stove. Two double ovens. And you have a really nice space to prepare, entertain. I love a bar height wraparound too because oh, yeah. It's just so easy. You put the bar stools there. You have a lot of prep space. Plenty of prep space. And, and one of my favorite parts you were say of it. the kitchen I knew it. is the pizza oven. Me being Rizzy from Chicago, born and raised, we're big on pizza. I already know what she's gonna say, but New York pizza is so much better. <laughs> Chicago pizza is better, and we can fight about <laughs> it later. <laughs> so you have your fireplace, and right above your um, your pizza oven. Great. Yeah. And it's such a nice open flow too. Very nice open flow. Be between your informal dining space and then your, your other living space with the coffer ceilings, which I'm a huge fan of. Huge fan of the coffer ceilings, yeah. And then your views to outside are just beautiful as well. Yeah, this is a really good, really good space. Open space, great for entertaining. Show them and for the our wine connoisseurs, <laughs> check out this wine room. Pretty sp place for all your favorite wines. This is the party room. One of the party rooms, yeah. <laughs> This is a party room. Loving the marble detailed bar. Definitely like that. What are you that. making up for us today? We're a I little parched. I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing behind here yet, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a really nice secondary entertaining space. I, again, love the little built-in seating around the fireplace. Makes you want to get co cozy with a little hot chocolate or maybe a glass of wine. Yeah, this is nice. A nice very space. nice, very nice space. So you do have a little half bath too off this side, which is great because you have your outdoor access to 
um, the kitchen outside and the pool, which is, which is really convenient. So now off to the... Uh... Can show them the garage? Well, hey, why not? Let's show them the garage area. Let's show them the garage area now. We're right yeah. here. This is right here. So this home comes with nine car garage. Um, however, uh, with a lift, you can get up to uh, 15 cars here in uh, actually stored. And above this port cochere is um, a little entryway to uh, the guest house, which is above this side of the garage. And that's 1,800 square feet, which is not included in the size of the home. So that's a really nice additional space that you have for out of town guests or a live-in nanny, whatever, yeah. whatever you need. And how about we, uh, how about we go in through the front and then go sure. to the left? Yeah, that way Let's we can see it. more of the home. Here's a drive-in driveway. I love a circular driveway. I knew you were going to say <laughs> so, that. I love a circular driveway. <laughs> and I mean, this is greeting you every time you come home. I mean, and this is beautiful too. And one thing that we didn't show on the inside is there's two doors to each side of the entryway and a little area, balcony areas on each side of the home. So that's nice too if you just want to kind of sit out here and take it in. I'll open it up for you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, how about we show them off to the left? Sure. You have another, this is probably your formal living area. Mm -hmm. Again, you have the gorgeous Corinthian columns. This looks over the little balcony area you have off the front. It's a nice flow. Very nice flow. Straight ahead, we have a guest bedroom. The guest bedroom yeah. with a great view. With a great view, yeah. <laughs> Again, you have your white oak floors throughout. And that's, it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I love this color. Yes. Your guests won't mind that view, that's for sure. But will they leave? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they definitely won't mind it, but will you get them to leave? <laughs> now, my favorite And it has part. its own full, full bathroom. Yeah. I love this master suite. I'll let you talk about your favorite part. Okay, of this, so my of favorite year. parts, of course, I love a chandelier. I'm not going to deny it. But this is so beautiful because this is cloth. Mm -hmm. It's not wallpaper. And it's just a really special and kind of unique aspect of the, of it the room. It is. It is. It's really nice. It looks really rich. It, it really gives the room a really rich feel. You have it. your bed. Yeah. I can see your TV going right above the fireplace. Yeah. It's ready to go, ready for your TV set. I mean, wow, the detailing in this stone, the stonework of this and fireplace the, is amazing. And not to mention, I mean, the crown molding too, it's just... Very elegant. It is, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful space. Very elegant. And you get to overlook the... Yeah, you get a full pool. view of the pool from your master, yeah. Very nice. Okay, let's check out the bath. Loving the, the detailing around the door. Now this is my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. I need a three step up bath, uh, bathtub with a chandelier and a Venetian cupola with a fireplace. If I don't have that, from now on, <laughs> Yo, I now refuse on. to take a bath. <laughs> oh, that detail is just so rich. I mean, this oh, room yeah. feels like a, a resort. Yeah, this is nice. You have I like this. the space, yes, with the, with the sinks. You stay on your side. You stay on your side. I will. I will. There you go. Yeah. The mirrors, too, are just really beautiful. Yeah, this is, this is nice. It's a nice space. And you also have a little walk-in uh, shower, which is yeah, beautiful. That's, that definitely isn't walking. That's a big walk-in shower. That's, <laughs> yeah, huge walk-in shower. The spiral staircase is great. This goes up to a second floor. So this this room is two stories, and there's a dressing mm -hmm. room upstairs, which we'll show you guys later. 
And for one of my other favorite parts. The closet. The closet. closet. I mean, this is what every girl wants. <laughs> so this is the only uh, closet for the master suite. However, plenty of space for his and hers. Right. Yeah, nice little space. vanity. Th that would be my side, just for the record. This would be his. This would be, this would be the guy's <laughs> side, yeah. And even Very the nice. details too. With the lion head, I know you like that. Seeing how I'm a Leo, I do like that. <laughs> I do like that. But the, all these built-ins are great too because you just have so much storage room and it really, I mean, you, you have a tremendous amount of space in here. So. Yeah. Very nice. And now off, this is also a part of the master suite. The original uh, owner had this designed to be a gym, which I think was really, I really think smart, a smart located idea. because yeah, you, you, you can do the gym, it's right by your, your bedroom. So, you know, like I like to work out when I first wake up, you have your- Who doesn't love a sauna? Your I sauna? Mean, this is yeah. what I would be doing. I would be having a nice little time in the sauna, maybe doing a little exercise, and then I would enjoy my pool. Right Should out we, to the pool. Let's let's show them the Yeah, let's show them let's show them their in case you want to get some laps in after your after your workout. It's warm enough that I could. Look at how beautiful this space is. Between the two lions is the jacuzzi. I love the waterfall features. Very nice feature. And like you said, you can't have too many lions. Like You can never have enough lions. Yeah, no. more lions. And you can never have enough steps up to the bath either. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now we can head upstairs and show them the second floor. Let's go upstairs. As you get to the top of your your stairway, you have your front balcony. And this is overlooking the front of your property. This is just such a beautiful home. Very nice. The design and the architecture too is beautiful and like the attention to detail everywhere. I really, really love it. Should we start on, on this, this side? side? Yeah. Okay. So this would be one of your first bedrooms off, off the top. It has a full bath and then a little bal a Juliet balcony, which I am such a fan of a Juliet balcony. Very nice. All this detail too is just really beautiful. You can never have too many Julia balconies. This is what you open up and ask yeah. for. Excuse me, I'd like a glass of tea, please. <laughs> Honey and lemon, thank you. <laughs> you and your tea. <laughs> okay. And you have a really nice skylight here too, which gives you additional light. I mean, it's already really a bright home it on is, its own. It is. And here's another guest bedroom. The really nice seating area if you want to read. Uh, you know, already have spaces for your books if you like. And just take in the view. Yeah. It's a nice space. Mm -hmm. Very nice size closet. Or guest, guest room.
Here's another bedroom. Similar setup with the window seat. I'm a fan of a window seat. I do love that. Very nice, yeah. With the little built-ins on the side. This one has a, a built-in uh, work area, which is really convenient. Well, this is a nice suite. Very nice. Another very nice size guest room with your built-ins. Work built-in. your office. Mm -hmm. A vanity for her. Vanity, yeah. And I mean, this, this is a really, really large room. Large room. Very large. So you do have another full bath. And this goes into the room that we were showing you or telling you about earlier. This is the second floor of the master bath. So this would be where you come up to do your finishing touches, maybe your dressing room. Um, it's, it's, it's a really nice space and it's not often that you see a two-story bath. Yeah, yeah. Two-story bath, yeah, this is nice. Even a workspace too, if you wanted to work up here. You could. It's, it's, it's really a beautiful addition. Yeah. This, this carpet is plush. I don't know if this uh, carpet can get any more plush than this. This is a plush carpet. It is. <laughs> yeah, loving the stone detailing tile there. So, and this level also, uh, this wing has mm -hmm. its own laundry room. So, wash and dryer. Now we should go to the other wing. Yes. This is the north wing. <laughs> and just look how beautiful this is. I mean, just. So nice. And the wrought iron railing is, is really gorgeous as well. So this is a junior suite. Mm -hmm. It's your junior suite. You have your own Juliet balcony. You have a little kitchenette area. And this also has a full bath as well. Full bath. I'm just a fan of a step up bath. You just love those steps. I, I need one. <laughs> I need one or I'm not going in. Drawing the line. Very nice. Um, you have a little powder room, a stand up shower. It's a really, really nice uh, full bath. And now for the entertaining area which is another one of my favorite areas. I know it is. You know it is. So this is your game room slash party area. I can definitely see having a lot of friends in here. If it's cool at night with the fireplace, maybe even put a TV in here if you like. I mean, yeah. That's a really, Really cool. Relax here. How many people can you fit in this room, Daniel? Oh, man, I mean, you are, you know, you can, you can. <laughs> easily, easily 50, 60 people in here. <laughs> so the original owner was um, planning on putting a uh, putting green out here, um, but they didn't put that out there. So you can use, that's an idea, you can use it as a putting green or uh, for sandbathing if you want to lay out and get a tan, so. It also has speakers out there, so a lot of different uh, ways you can use that outdoor space. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it has great views as well, so great views, who yeah. wouldn't want to utilize that? Mm -hmm. So you have your movie room here. Here's your movie room. And this is nice too because I love that they did the black walls and ceiling, mm -hmm. and they did the tiered stairs, so. Yeah. It's um, it's a really nice, nice space. Really nice space. All you need is some popcorn. Yeah. Maybe a little snack machine. Already framed for a hundred inch um, screen, pre-wired, ready to go. It's a great space. Right. Yeah, great space. It's 
so what should we show them now? Should we show them? Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Uh, how about we go down the back way? Sure. Let's go on the back way. This is one of three ways to get downstairs from, from upstairs. <laughs> And now we're outside, outside living space. One of my favorite um, parts about this area is the fireplace, outdoor fireplace. Plenty of space for kitchen to entertain. You can even put a couple bar stools here. You have a dishwasher, nice, nice area for your um, grill. Yeah, nice, great area. I'm loving the columns out here too. <laughs> Just, I'm really loving the detail, very elegant. And the fans are, are wonderful too in this Dallas heat. And you have surround sound out here, which is great for when you're entertaining. And again, this property sits on a little bit under three acres. Uh, let's just show them a, sure. the backyard here yeah, so you can see exactly all the property has to offer. So your backyard area, it has a walk path that goes along the entire backyard, which backs up to your creek area. This is great if you have <laughs> Very, kids or children, kids. I mean, I almost want to go on. <laughs> Very nice. And this looks beautiful at night. The trees are lit up. You can, you know, of course, light the trees up. Um, just great, great grand space. Great grand space. I'm loving the mature trees. And it's Beautiful such a property. large property and it's so convenient, but yet you don't feel like you're near the main road. Yeah, yeah. And one of the, besides the fact that this is a beautiful home, uh, one of the also main things I like about this property is the location. Uh, very centrally located. You're 15 minutes from the Star, uh, Legacy West. You're 15 minutes from Addison. Um, you're another 30 to maybe 35 minutes from downtown Dallas. Next to plenty of shopping, ma uh, shopping malls, restaurants. Um, to be at this price for under three acres, this is an amazing location. Amazing right. location. At five million, we're giving it away to you. You're welcome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how about we go back to the pool area? Sure, let's yeah, check it out. Okay guys, that wraps up our tour. We'd like to give a special thank you to our colleague, Michelle Field, for allowing us to tour her gorgeous listing today. If you're interested in this property uh, or any other property in Dallas or even in the world, please feel free to contact me at dhunt at briggsfreeman.com. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram at itsdancan. And you can email me at awolf at briggsfreeman.com or follow me on Instagram at allisonwolf. We hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Be sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. See you next time. Bye.